Welcome back to the channel, ScooterATVSales.com at Scooter City Reno, bringing you some tips on if your scooter bogs down. Now this would apply whether you own a 50cc four-stroke single cylinder or you own a 150. I'm going to throw you guys some tips. I do receive a lot of calls and emails from customers all around the country as well as here locally on what to do or what that could be, what, what is the issue. So typically you guys, this is the scenario, you're adding throttle right here on your scooter and the scooter is bogging down. All right, now I'm going to throw you some tips. It could be a hundred other reasons why, but generally what I have found through the years of servicing these Chinese scooters, these are typically the issues in areas you do want to check. All right, so let's walk around towards the uh, air filter. Now, generally, this is where your air filter is going to be located. All right, it's in this carrier right over here. You're going to take the screws out and check your air filter. Make sure it's clean. If it's not clean, clean it out. If it needs to be replaced, then replace it. All right, so that's one area you want to check. Check your air cleaner. Making sure you got proper airflow going to your carburetor. Now I did re remove the bucket, as they call it, the seat, the seat bucket. So this allows you to have total access to the top end of your engine. Now again, this applies whether it's a 50cc, 49cc, four stroke, or it's a 150. This particular motor is a 150, all right? So you wanna check your fuel filter. And fuel filters are located in, in different places on these carburetors. This one particularly is stuffed in here and you want to check your fuel filter. And this is generally what your fuel filter will look like. Something like, like this. All right, or it could be a clear one. I usually recommend upgrading. We just upgraded this one over here. So check your fuel filter. Generally the fuel lines are 3 16 or 3 8 one or the other. Second, all right, would be your pressure regulator. This is called the pressure regulator, or petcock as they call it. This is where from the gas tank, you have your fuel filter over here where my finger's pointed here. All right, so from the gas tank, the hose goes to the fuel filter. You're gonna check that, make sure it's not all gummed up with all the additives they apply to all the gasoline these days. It could be a lot of gumming in there. Check your fuel lines. All right, and then it leads to their pressure regulator. This port here, this is the exit port right here in the bottom, which this one particular one, this goes to your carburetor. This top area here is the vacuum here, the vacuum line, which is connected to your manifold here as well as the carburetor. So check your vacuum lines, you guys. Make sure they're not damaged. You could have a pinhole. They could be old, dried up. You wanna replace them. They're generally about 316 vacuum line. And also check your manifold, this manifold right here that's connected to your carburetor here. That could be cracked somewhere. There's also an isolator under here, which I'll show you guys. And this isolator right here, this could be damaged, defective. So this generally goes in the bottom of this. So you're gonna remove these two nuts here, lift it out and check this. And if it needs replacement, then replace that. Now checking your vacuum lines, what you wanna do is you start up your motor and then you can get some parts cleaner like this. Now while the engine is running, you just, you just spray a little bit on the vacuum lines. And if you hear a difference in the engine sound, that means there is a vacuum leak and that could definitely affect your scooter running. So when you're adding throttle here and it's bogging down at the initial idle, or just, just as you're picking up some, some speed and if it's bogging down, well, that could be part of the issue over here. If it's not starting properly, you could have a vacuum leak. So that's, these are important areas to check. Now let's walk over to a carburetor and I'll show you your carburetor. It's typically what a carburetor will look like. And then this is what it looks like when the top, this top here is removed. We remove that. This is called your metering rod, all right? This is what goes into this plunger on the top area here. This metering rod right here. All right. This will go in into there. There's a couple of clips here on the top of your metering rod. And when you move, you can remove this clip. You'll see some notches over here. Now, generally from the factory, now this controls how much fuel is going to be applied into your carburetor, into the engine. So this little clip here, a little horseshoe clip 
it's set at the center and when you raise it to the top it's going to drop it down a little bit more right it's because you raise this clip so this can control, can, can control the fuel by bringing it down it's going to raise it up allowing more fuel to the carburetor right and then if you raise it up right so when you raise this little clip here and it's on the up position right this will fall down a little bit more decreasing the amount of fuel and then if you raise this clip you put this clip further down then it's going to raise it up allowing more fuel into your your engine your carburetor area so keep that in mind you can check this metering rod but generally first you want to check those other areas that I mentioned of course you have your spark plug here you could check make sure that it is a clean spark plug it's burning proper fuel so we're walking over last but not least you guys this is your CDI this controls the spark so check uh, your CDI box now this is located generally you know, somewhere along this area right here on the 150s last but not least it could be underneath the face panel here so well this takes a lot of work generally to take this out depending on your type of scooter 150 or 49 cc again this is a CDI box this is one for a 150 the 49 cc's are a little bit smaller so this would be the last place this control spark to your engine so this could allow or make your scooter bog down when you're adding throttle so it could be other reasons as well but generally speaking this is what I have found and we have found over here what could affect the performance of your engine when you're adding throttle and the scooter is bogging down it's backfiring sometimes so keep that in mind you guys these are areas you want to check these are simple tips Hope you guys are well. Scooter ATV sales on Instagram. If you need some universal parts at scooteratvparts.com and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.